Hello everybody, I just wanted to show you in this little video presentation the wonderful Ox Viewports, uh, which is brand new is in Dive Studio 4.7. Okay, to have it, you have to go in Windows Paints and Ox Viewports. You just size it. I prefer to make it in the cable in general. Okay, so that I can move it uh, a little bit everywhere without it docking everywhere. Um, I'm going to load the light in this scene, uh, light area smooth, which is included in, um, which is included in, uh, oh, amazing skins in general. I'm going to uh, rotate it maybe a little bit, um, so that the light, okay. And when you move your light up, your image is immediately recalculated, okay. If you don't want things to be recalculated when you're moving, uh, are uh, changing things in your in your scene you just have to stop progressive rendering okay and so yeah you can move things this way nothing is recalculated and you can activate in general i i keep it activated okay so i'm going to <coughs> sorry put it this way so that i have a little bit of sheen around here okay this this is done i'm working with um I'm working with an amazing skin shader on, on Michael 6. I'm going to select my skin lips to nails and fingernails as usually. And I'm going to change, for instance, the hue of the figure. So I'm going to go for something much more neutral. And you should see here, as soon as I press OK, that everything is recalculated. OK. Press OK. Everything is recalculated. OK. And uh, I can change. Um, the, the U also uh, this way, which is the post-process U, okay, which is more for fantasy skins in general. And the pre-process U is more for human skins in general. This is better to work this way, even if you can reach nice features. So here I'm, I have something called, I have something called mainly because of the subsurface scattering features, not only the skin, but the subsurface. So I'm going to have a look at my subsurfaces and inlaid, they are very cold scatterings. Um, and okay, and if I go for something more warm immediately, I see that this is more, more warm. I can increase a little bit my amount of SSS. And if I want, for instance, to change, to change the sheen. First, in general, what I'm doing is take a very, very colored sheen, okay, so that we see exactly where it is placed. And then you can shape it to the size that you want, okay. And the, this multiplies with the amount of main misses, so take care not to drive everything too high. I'm going to increase a little bit the skin, and let's put the skin in pink. Okay, so that I see the impact of it. Okay, so you see where um, where scatter scatter in here's here is. Oh, sorry, it's difficult for me. And you can increase a little bit the skin. So uh, the skin, sorry, oh no, sir, the skin has thickness, and then you come back to more neutral colors. Okay. And you can go for warm or cold. You can risk a little bit your window if you want to see something more large, okay? But this gonna immediately take a little bit longer to to render, okay? So we have uh, we have maybe a little bit too much of main SSS, okay? I reduce that. I'm going to have a look at deep SSS, okay? This SSS is really really neutral in this configuration, so I'm going to uh, go for something more warm. Why not? I mean, it's, it's to, just uh, to show the principle that we see everything uh, in direct, directly, okay? You can see the influence, okay, of the deep SSS, which does not behave exactly um, the same, okay? Okay, so uh, you, you can uh, adjust the strength of it this way, and you can go now for specular, okay? and shape the highlights speaker okay and you will see that if you go for a very small speaker your skin becomes more um, let's say more shiny more gl more glossy more glossy um you can increase the strength of the speaker okay and this gives you uh, an impression immediately of a white skin okay because white skin on White skin, there is a kind of oil um, 
this is water which is reflecting uh, light uh, differently okay and if you want to come back to uh, something um, if you want to see better of course you can go for these kind of colors so you see really better where it is located but in general you choose something pretty white cold, pretty cold white okay and you can increase the specular strength a lot okay and take care when you increase the highlight size uh, the total amount of specular does not change but is going on uh, on bigger surfaces so the amount exiting per surface area just um, just goes uh, lower and, and then you can uh, okay no i'm not going to show, show this uh, what i wanted to to show is you can also this way very easily change the color of um, of some outfits so you're going to load the shader for skin parts which is included in genesis males uh, or genesis 2 female amazing skin uh, th there is one of each in, in all of them okay i'm going to oh not not that not that tall sorry smaller okay so here the color has not changed and this is um not what we wanted and if you want to change the hue we hit hue and since this is not skin but just uh, elements we are going to make a post process of the hue to the green so green green uh sorry red red i want red red must be far away this direction um you add a constant u so oh no not 100 red must be around there but um, you don't preserve it very red because of a matter of saturation uh, saturation and this is going suddenly to become more red the, you, the hue was the right one but the saturation was insufficient for OI to perceive it really really red this is very sensitive because of the way I've configured this dial so it's it varies not a lot of the, at the beginning and a lot at the end okay so now we have changed all the colors of our scene okay I'm going to up take the full Michael 6 and and here in the interactive preview mode you have something totally different and it was easy to make it because uh, you had this interactive preview okay and you can even save the preview it's just like oh sorry <laughs> it's some test you can just save the preview and it's fine well bye bye and um, i hope that it has helped you um, discovering the aux viewport and how to tweak amazing things with with that mm, have a nice day and thanks and bye